Hello, you beautiful people. I'm Michael Botts, and the reason you show up here every morning at 9 a.m. is because you know there's more. There's more for you to get, for you to get in the world. There's more money, more love, more joy, more health, more peace. There's more for you to get, but there's also more for you to give. Man, you guys are on early. Look at you guys popping on this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Laura. Love it, love it, love it. And we show up here every morning and we work on you getting more and you giving more. Look, you were born genius. You were born epic. You were born to change the world in a way that only you can change the world. Your experience, good morning, Kath. Your, the things that have happened to you, the way you've evolved, the way that you can impact the world can only happen while you're here. When your expir date, expiration date happens, this, the world can never be impacted the way that you can do it. You're going along life when you're born and you're strong, you're powerful, you're solid, you're, good morning Chris, you, you really don't have any doubt, fear, limiting beliefs. I mean, look at you learning to walk. You didn't get discouraged, you didn't get frustrated, you weren't afraid to try it. <coughs> look at you learning to talk. You didn't get frustrated, you didn't get disappointed, you didn't get depressed when it didn't work out, when everybody was laughing at you because you were gurgling and not... Um, talking right, it didn't bother you, you weren't worried about rejection. So this is evidence that you were born on the beach of I am enough moving down the path of success. But then along the way, you spill the milk and the giants in the, in the living quarters freak out. You crash the car and the giants that you think are so important and, and mean so much to you remind you of it every time you ask for the car after that. Um, you get a girl pregnant and they just keep reminding you of that failure. You lose the house and everybody shuns you and, and you know makes you feel bad about it. You get the divorce. You, th there's just whatever your, your struggle is, it caught you in the riptide of life and you got sucked out into the ocean of am I enough. Now you're still trying to succeed. You're still in your heart. You know you want to give the world stuff. And you know you want to get more. But now you're in the ocean of in my knife and you get sucked under and slammed around. And you, your lungs finally get full of doubt, fear, and limiting beliefs. You're drowning in the ocean of in my knife. And people hire me to grab them, drag them out of the ocean of in my knife, back up onto the beach of I am enough, and I start to resuscitate you and you spew out <laughs> the doubt. You spew out the fear. You spew out the limiting beliefs. And you start to take these breaths. <gasps> I am enough. <gasps> Confidence. <gasps> Certainty. Boldness. And you get up, I help you get up, and I aim you down the path of success, and you start succeeding in ways that you haven't succeeded in a long time. Now, what do we know about the path of success? It is paved with gratitude. So right now, what we do on this show every morning, because we show up here every morning, we start writing gratitudes. The way it sounds is, I am grateful that I had the discipline to get my ass up and go for my run this morning, and I am enough. Laura Carroll, first one, love it. Laura says, I'm grateful for the chance to babysit my great-grandson today. I'm proud that I'm a role model for him and I am enough. That's beautiful, Laura. Every time you do a grateful and I'm proud of, I learn something about you and it makes me love you in a whole nother level. Chris says, I'm grateful for today, Pancake Saturday, and I'm proud of my son and I am enough. You know what I'm proud of, Chris, is you are a great father. I'm proud of you for that, my friend. And I know a great father when I see one because I'm a great father. I am proud of that I got my time down on my first two miles of my run down. I got each mile under 14 minutes and five seconds. That's big for me because it was, I was doing, it was taking me 40 minutes, but now I got those first two miles 
14 minutes and five seconds was the average for the first two miles. So I'm very proud of that. Now, as you're putting your gratitudes, we're going to take some breaths. Now, if you don't take these breaths, you're missing out on a big part of the show. These breaths are to create space. And the space is where the answers are. Life is crowding you. All the time, life is crowding you. I got to get home to, to take care of my son. I got to pay for childcare. I got to get the mortgage paid. I got to hire this person. I got to fire that person. Now, this, is all, this is all going on. Okay? And you get crowded. And these breaths create space. It's like you're on an elevator and every time you take a breath, some of the anxiety and the disappointment and the frustration leaves. And finally, Kath says, I'm grateful that I am the, a fighter and nothing is going to keep me down and I am enough. I love that, Kath. I love a fighter. Man, I watch a UFC all the time and I adore a fighter, Kath. You and I are kindred spirits about that. <coughs> And every time you take a breath, the door opens and some of that leaves. And finally, you take a breath, the door opens, you're on the beach of I'm enough, and the answer is right there to what you need to do next. In your relationship, in your body, in your finances, in your soul, in your business. So let's take these breaths. Ready? Breathe in. Oh, it's so nice here on Saturday morning. There's a little rain and no one else is around, so it's nice and quiet. Ready? Breathe in. Put it out. Leah, are you on here this morning? Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Billy. Michelle um, says, I'm grateful for my job that supports me while I grow my business and I'm proud of my work ethic and I am enough. Yes, you are. And Michelle, I want to say I'm proud of you for growing your business and doing whatever it takes, W-I-T, to grow your business. I'm very proud of that because what you have to offer the world is very special. Two more breaths. Ready? Breathe in. Can I just say thank you guys for coming on a Saturday morning? You did not have to do that. You could have slept in. You could be doing something else with some family members, but you decided to come here and spend it with me, and I'm grateful for that. We're going to take one more breath, and then we're going to get right into it. Ready? Breathe in. Let it out. Good morning, Rudy. Is this your first time, Rudy? If this is your first time, put a one in there and this tribe will give you love like you've never got love before, Rudy. I'm glad you're here. All right, we're starting a series today, How to Stick to It. How to Stick to It. So first I thought maybe I should give you a little background of why you should <coughs> hear what I have to offer when it comes to how to stick to it. First of all, I've been with the same woman for over 30 years. I stick to it. Second of all, I have been an amazing father to four amazing kids for over 21 years. I stick to it. Third of all, I have owned a business, ran it successfully for over 23 years. I stick to it. Fourth of all, I have come here every morning since the middle of December for over a half a year and I have not missed a day. I stick to it. Fifth of all, I have been getting up every morning. I've missed two days in over four months of getting up and keep moving. Kath says, I'm proud that I'm going out with a friend tonight. Will not let this illness beat me. Kath, I love that you just keep going. Nothing stops you. So that's why I think I have something to offer when it comes to stick to itiveness. And I've got some guys that I've coached, some, some people that I've coached that have really transformed. I have helped Stace Lepardis go from sitting on the couch 
not feeling good about herself to being an extraordinary Zumba and Cardio Blast teacher. I helped Amanda get out of her anxiety so much that she couldn't even go to work or her son's basketball game to being the basketball mom and staying at work all day, driving across a bridge that was giving her anxiety. I help people. I help Chris go from $27,000 a month to $100,000 a month and build in his mind that his business isn't seasonal. So I have something to offer. So now let's get into it. Step one of stick to Look, this is what happens, all right? This is your brain, okay? So then you have some eyes and a mouth and a nose and some ears. Now what you say out your mouth goes in your inner ear down into your soul, little tiny soul of you. And then your soul and the universe, I think that'll work, are collaborating to make that happen. What are you saying about yourself when it comes to stick to What are you saying about yourself when it comes to stick to Are you saying, man, every time I start to get up in the morning and go for my walk, I suck at it. I can never keep it going. Do you say, I cannot quit smoking. No matter what I do, I can't quit smoking. Do you say, I can never find a great woman to date. No matter how where I look, all the good women are taken. I'm telling you, stick to the the number one, this will catapult you into stick to what are you saying about yourself? Sean says, Michael, right now I'm thankful for you. I've been under pressure and not knowing what direction to move. Right now, this, this is giving me a moment to reflect and focus. Thank you. And I am enough. I can do this. Sean, get me as your coach, man. I can serve you. I promise. Thank you for saying that, Sean. I love you. I adore you and I would love to serve you in your moment of pressure. What you say about yourself is determining how you stick to your stick to Now, look, you were born with stick to You learned to walk because you stuck to it. So you have a muscle, the, a stick to muscle. You have that, okay? But then people started saying stuff about you and you agreed with it and your stick to muscle has atrophy. So now, Michelle says, I'm waiting for my first client to come. I'm sticking to it. Michelle, can I offer you something? Go get your first client. Do not wait for them to come to you. You go ask 10 people for you, for you to be their coach today. Stick to that's just a little thing. I'm sure Michelle's the only one that needed to hear that. Go get, take action. Stick to itiveness. You were born with it. Like this arm. If I have this arm and I have it strapped to my side and I never use it, it's going to atrophy. I was born with the muscles that are in my arm. But if I never use it, it atrophies. Okay? You with me? Your stick to itiveness muscle, your stick to itiveness muscle has atrophied because of what you're saying about yourself, because somebody said it about you and you have agreed with it. Well, everybody in our family's overweight. Nobody in our family runs because it hurts our knees. Nobody in our ha family can ever stop smoking. Nobody in our family gets a college degree. And then you agree with it. Oh man, I can't get a degree. I don't have the money. I don't da 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 mutes fear, action solves problems, and it's the right action. The right action matters. Because we can get into busy work and not do the right action that's going to grow our business, that's going to develop the body that we want, that's going to build the relationship we want with the people that we love, that's going to create finances where money is making money. Stick to itiveness, you have it, 
and it is atrophied because of what you're saying about yourself. Step one in the five steps to stick to it, there is no trying, there is only doing, Michelle. They love you, Michelle. They're all about serving you. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a spider coming down right here. Unbelievable. Stick tootiveness is in your DNA. You have the muscle, and now what's happening is it got you got sucked into riptide of life, and now you forgot that you have stick tootiveness. So I want to I want you to promise me that you'll start something today. Yeah, but Michael, I don't want to start because I'm just going to do it for one day or one week and then I'm going to quit. See? You're already saying it about yourself. You're proving me right. stick to is in you. Start something. We have five steps. We're going to go over them for the next five days. So if you miss one, you miss out. Because this will help you stick to it. I love you. I care about you. Have an amazing, epic day. Do not miss one of these episodes. Leave a comment. I need your comment today. I need encouragement today. Leave a comment that encourages me, that lets me know I'm having an impact on your life. Share this video and get to me. Michelle, hire me as your coach. Sean, hire me as your coach. Chris, hire me as your coach. I can help you. That's what I do, and I'm really good at it. Have a great day.